Good afternoon, viewers. This is MRU TV, and thanks for keeping it MRU TV. My name is Naba Chibi Esther, and welcome to yet another beautiful edition of the Youth Live program. I'm going to talk about a topic of drug abuse as affiliated to the contemporary society today. Each one of them is going to introduce themselves to us, and we get to know their departments and what they do, um, as of course we go ahead and discuss issues concerning drug abuse. My name is Leticia Nachiraga and I'm a student from Dejo University. I'm Webo Martin. I'm a doctor from Mengox Hospital. I'm Nanzri Mili. I'm the peer communicator. I'm from Tessa Royal University. I'm Senyendo Paul. I'm from the guidance and counseling in at Mengo. I'm Nanda Samuel, a student at Kampala International University and I'm doing Bachelor of Mass Communication year one. Okay, thank you very much. Of course, after this brief introduction, we are going to get straight into the topic and first we are going to talk about the causes or the immediate causes of drug abuse and what they can really be. Okay, there is, first of all, we can talk about peer influence. Of course, this can be uh, got into relation with schools and uh, very many uh, different peers from our societies where people force each other to, of course, get into this act of drug abuse. Uh, I can cite out a very good example of, of campus or universities where, of course, people who stay in the same hostel or stay in the same room or share actually the same dormitory um, might be into this act of drug abuse. But initially, it was one person doing, I mean, taking the drugs. And of course, as peer influence, he or she can force the other partner to also, or the other party to also take the drugs. We are going to get to hear from other people about the causes of drug abuse. I think the major cause of drug abuse is permissiveness. You know, permissiveness is when us, the youth, are let in to do everything we feel like. For instance, today today parents leave their children parents leave their children to do everything they want so if at all I'm led to do what I want obviously I'll go in to take drugs cause I feel like I want to do drugs yeah to me one cause of drug abuse is idleness for instance I may be idle as we all know and I don't mind is the devil's workshop I find my peers taking drugs, so I may also inquire or to know what's behind taking drugs. According to me as a student, I think students taking drugs, it's because of being specialized by their fellows. By that I mean that's being under pure pressure. I'm, like, I'm a student, they are my fellows who are under they are under some others fellows like they are specialized for example during night these 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 students they go in bars they take alcohol not because they want but they are specialized by their fellows according to me that's my view okay to add on that of course we are still on the causes of drug abuse i think um, unemployment is to a greater extent another cause of drug abuse because um, um, in our contemporary society today people are so much unemployed and of course when someone is unemployed they of course resort to um, they resort to this act of drug abuse when someone comes up with a deal or maybe in the local areas but it's, it's so common in the urban areas when someone comes up with a deal of selling drugs you know there are very, there are very many different channels in which drug abuse can be of course put into action someone can come up with um an idea of selling drugs and that is how the channel can move to the other person of course as in this bit of transporting drugs i think they are promoting drug abuse and this act yes after looking at the causes we are going to go to something very uh we are going to go to something different we are going to go to different kinds of drug up different kinds of drugs that are commonly abused in our society today uh, we have very many drugs, of course. We, we have cocaine, we have marijuana, we have all different forms of drugs that are commonly abused, as we're going to hear from each one of these members.
for instance drugs that are commonly abused alcohol itself you know alcohol like for example in uganda it's supposed to be taken by everyone who is above 18 years but then you find someone taking alcohol and you find they've taken a lot of it so we find very many on the streets we find them doing some more evil things because of drug abuse we find them doing a lot of things in other words drug abuse is caused by a lot of things to me um like even like when we talk about medical drugs um like people most people know for them if they take drugs for example marijuana um no nicotine that's taking drugs not like but leaving leaving that aside even taking extra medicine or like when you go to a clinic or a hospital then you go for drugs when you either you're sick you go for drugs like some medical treatment then they give you some measurements for instance you're given panadol you've been told by a doctor to take like two times three then for you you take like four by two that means you're taking overdose and that will lead to i think drug abuse to me i think drug drugs are misused accidentally or intentionally in a way that i may go to the clinic maybe when i'm feeling some little headache or maybe when i'm sick i go to the nurse because she wants to make money she might give me expired medicine and i may take it without knowing that i'm misusing the drugs i'm using uh, to me as a doctor and uh, who has an experience of five years what i have observed is that not only be taking more more drugs even taking drugs of let me say under those it's also a misuse of drugs it's it's not just taking just overdose even under those it's misuse of drugs to me as a member from guidance and counseling organization some members they take this as their chance to avoid laziness or let me say like they take them as their laser activity to test what is there um, having seen the circumstances in which drugs are uh, can be abused of course leading to the act of drug abuse we are going to go to some other thing and that is the effects of these drugs to both society and an individual of course we have very many effects of these drugs and what these drugs can lead us into of course once you take drugs because they're all of different kinds and of course they're all of different percentages so we are going to see once a person takes in these drugs it can either be on a frequent scale or actually on a regular basis or it can be even at a low scale so what happens when a person has to take these drugs on a regular basis and what are the effects of course these effects can be positive or negative we are going to get to hear about the positive effects and um positive effects of the drugs to both this individual who is taking them and to the society this individual is in yes we are starting off with a lady okay drug abuse brings about aggressiveness in students for instance i'm a student but then when you find that you're more addicted to drugs there's how you become aggressive okay like when you take drugs a lot of drugs now like like the stimulant drugs there's how it makes you feel you're strong it makes you feel you can really do everything for instance in camp at campus as me a student from tesa i had ever tried taking drugs okay and i never got anything good from it reason being it was almost leading me to become a school drop out reason being all the time i could think of taking alcohol because my friends were taking alcohol 
they could take me in different places so i could not miss i couldn't bear to miss because you're addicted at that moment yeah or? i was very addicted whereby my parents weren't willing to continue paying my fees when i'm still taking it okay yeah, according to me i'd experienced this i've i've ever took drugs and like drugs you know people most people know for them they know like drugs it has negative effects only no it's not really like that uh, even drugs have good positive effects so like at that side for example um me according to me and my experience i will not call it experience but had i experienced in it we can see we're living a life in a world of people taking drugs for example musicians you know musicians they take drugs to gain confidence to get that courage in that if you take drugs you can come or like they use drugs they come be confident in front of audience for that you can express anything you want I can give you examples of these artists. Uh, before you thing. before you go that further, you mean um, I cannot sing to the public or come up with my sample or anything I want to present to the public when I'm sober. We call it sober. When I'm sober, I've not taken anything and and presented very well, just like we are doing right now. No, you can, you can, but like to be more confident. No, you know, like there are some people. So in this case, I I think it bases on someone's individual. I mean, indiv individuality of thinking. If one thing they have to first take drugs of course to be confident that's what they will do but it's, it does not apply to every person in the society yeah, it I doesn't think. apply to every person but I was giving you a view of it okay then like for example Bob Murray Bob Murray when he used to come on stage he, he, he used to say like one thing he can't come on stage to sing before taking drugs for example Bob Murray used to take drugs nicotine before he came to stage so who was gaining that confidence, you know, and courage to sing for the audience. I think it's a good thing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, of course, we have spoken quite a lot uh, about, of course, um, how these drugs can be misused and um, the effects, both positive and negative, uh, of these drugs as a result of these drugs or as a result of drug abuse. For now, we are going to go into a very short commercial break, and when we come back, we are going to go to the measurements or solutions that can be taken either by the government, either by the individuals or even you who is watching or of course for this act to stop or even reduce in the country. We're going for a very short commercial break. Don't touch your dial. When we come back, we get into this. <laughs> 